Three, two, one, go. Okay, good. I didn't leave my load remover on. If we're going to... Hmm. I think if we find something that can break the game at higher FPS's, other than like the, the wheel going the wrong direction and spinning out on itself, it's not going to benefit anyone, so... There's no real reason to show FPS then, but if we want to do timing or do things specifically where we want people to cap their FPS because something exists where you can do something very bad with high FPS. Um, then we'll have people show it, but I just show it anyways. Just in case. I mean, if there's going to be an update for the game that adds like cutscene skips or text mashing or stuff like that, um, you know, obviously these times aren't going to matter very much. not gonna worry too much about that right now though why did I do this again I know how this glitch works now if you go backwards during this cutscene it keeps the screen black I don't know why I intentionally did it though it just makes it harder <laughs> I lost like a second because I made my screen turn black, but okay. Pretty silly. So yeah, don't do that at the beginning of the game when you do full game runs. Don't go backwards as that cutscene's starting. That's true, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Those darn buttons moving at the last second when you're not expecting it. Have I removed our load so far? It's pretty bad. The situation's pretty bad. I've gone through like four or five times and just gotten to the end and there's either one or zero pointers remaining and the remaining pointer usually is completely broken and does not work. I was very confident before, but the... I didn't know Unreal was bad too, I thought just Unity was bad when it came to load removers. Should have warned me. I need to stop playing Unity and Unreal games, but then I stopped playing all my ones. Yeah... There's... it's, it's tough. I mean, you know more about all of that than I do. I don't think, even if I had to take a look at it, that you'd be able to really find anything for it. Not that I doubt your expertise, but it just doesn't seem like it wants to work. It just doesn't seem to be something there. Um, you'd have to do like a combination of like a bunch of pointers and that just sounds like a headache and but i was very confident after being you talked i was like oh yeah like i'm pretty much there because at that point i was like i pretty much had it working for the intro of the game and for entering the first level, and then I reopened and did all the stuff and tried it a few times, and then it just like said no. <laughs> it's fair. It's like eleven dollars right now. I don't think it would be the, well, I was about to say, I don't think it would be the first time I've bought a game for you for stuff, but I think it is. I thought it was on sale right now. No, it's not. It shouldn't be 30. 
Unless it's jacked up for your currency situation, because I know Steam sometimes decides to do that. But I'm pretty sure it's on sale and that it's usually like 15 or 20. Rick's store just opened! Yay! Go Rick! Hi Rick. Not the best start, but... And I'm not going for... Not going for the, the windmill jump. I'm gonna be a baby. I need, I need to spend like another like three hours just sitting there and figuring it out before I do it. I thought I had it, I thought I was good to go, and then I started thinking about it, and then that was that was it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was pretty unfortunate. I think just getting a deathless run, even if the quality of playing isn't really high, I could probably get like a 108 or 107-ish. With the strats that I plan on going for, maybe even lower. I don't know if I'm underestimating how many silly mistakes I've made. I probably am. I think my PB did this split in like a 150 or a 650 something, so we're ahead. I did sit down and try to do some weird stuff during this fight. Uh, I didn't, couldn't figure out a way to skip it. If you enter the fight and then quit to main menu, the fight's still there afterwards. I was kind of just hoping the fight would disappear itself <laughs> or something silly like that. Over here, Mr. Multi, we must stop it. I think once I failed this fight for the first time during a speedrun, I'll probably just quit. <laughs> There's, there's one jump that's mildly difficult during this. Not even difficult. Uh, but it exists. All these other ones, it's like... Just don't forget to jump. You could lose time during this fight. One thing I also tried during this fight was to die on the last button press. If you die on the last button press, the game gets a, a little bit unsure on what to do. It plays the dialogue of the first button uh, you break, but um, it just restarts the fight with all three of the buttons unpressed, so it doesn't really do anything for you. Yeah. Not as good as a- oh, please. Multi, get in the level. <laughs> yeah, my plan is just to do attempts for however long my brain can stand it. Ah, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Backwards long jump up. What? Did I? Uh, Alright, whatever. That was interesting. I must have, like, pulled back on the analog stick right as I was going towards the, uh... I've done that twice now, where I just stopped right in front of the mailbox. 
I guess the hitbox for it's pretty small compared to the other one. Hmm. I mean, I should be continuing to hold forward until I see it pop up, but... but that's a me thing. Dude, a fedora? My goodness. I don't think I've seen anyone actually <laughs> wear the, the fedora in this game so far doing ILs. Pretty sure. That or the climbing rope. I don't know. We'll do an outfit tier list at some point for male mole. Tier lists are, are all the, the craze sort of do sort of thing. level. Lots of rolling things in this area. It is nice having small little breaks during the run. I know it does pad the run a little bit. Having tiny little breaks to think about what the next level is going to be and just kind of Take your hand off the controller without having to worry about missing dialogue and stuff like that. Pretty nice. You can technically just dash right into those boxes instead of uh, ground pounding them. What just happened? Interesting. <laughs> I went in a direction I was not expecting. I just stopped acting surprised when something happens exactly the way that I told the game to do it. Because I wasn't playing very well. <laughs> it's much easier just to blame Multi for it. Like, oh, it just took over the controller for a second, you know? Responsibility for making poor decisions in speedruns is overrated. We we stand blaming the character instead. Pretty okay start. Gonna still be a about even. Maybe even save a tiny bit of time. Yay. Coconut Island has a lot of chokeable moments though, so we'll see. I mean, there's... I'd say most areas at least have one level. That is a little brutal. I can't think of an area that's got like a really e like, all the levels are pretty easy. Um... The closest you can get to that is probably Ancient Ruins. All four of their levels are like... they're fine. None are like... Oh, I just got like a really interesting speed boost. I think I did the boat though. They jumped early. Need to remind myself the cycle sucks during this. Oh. The beach ball was almost on top of us. I'll do that one of these runs. It's gonna be my crowning achievement in this game. Not not any records or good PBs. It's gonna be the one time I get the beach ball to sit on top of where multi's gonna pop out. Cause then we can see does the does the beach ball fly in the air or does it stay put and does multi just clip inside? One of the greatest questions. I mean, it's, it's probably really easy just to figure out. You just sit down there and like put it in position and then walk into it. But uh, no, we have to we have to do it at speed while speed running. But 
Though I guess optimally you shouldn't be coming from that side of the level anyways to end it. You should be coming from the left side since that's the way the wheel spins, but... Since the cycles are weird, I usually end up on the other side anyways. Now we just have my least favorite level of this area. So it's got some really silly stuff, so that's fine. <laughs> Makes up for it. But it lacks in general speedrunning merit. It makes up for it in multi grinding their head against the waterfall <laughs> for like five seconds. I would like a secret ending to this game where you go to uh, Coconut Island and since that's where you start the game at, you can just retire there instead of solving Carrot Land's issues. The secret lazy ending. And that's where I lose a little bit of time, is, uh... Dash- not dashing onto that, uh, inflatable, that so you just kind of bounce around for a little bit. So that was good, actually. <laughs> Compared to how I've done this area before, this is pretty good. Surprise, I'm gonna be pretty even with my gold split here, I think, if not a little bit slower. I thought I did all that pretty much as well as I want to, so... Don't know what I did in my PB, that was so good. Oh, I beat it by like a second. So I guess I just didn't make any mistakes in my PB. Other than... small few seconds of optimization, probably. Good start, though. Actually being ahead's nice. Still have ready. Uh, sorry, we still have Yeti Ridge, and uh, the last level of the first world, and all of Spooky Swamp. All those areas are. I pretty much just said the rest of the game, didn't I? Besides, like the end. <laughs> oh, nice. How many time? Multi. <laughs> Uh, multi. That's not how you get in the cannon, my dude. Ah, uh, that's pretty good though. I wish it was actually fast to do that, because I think it would probably be pretty. Uh... Uh, doable every run. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll take the like half a second time loss every run and just have fun. I do wish there was a benefit to getting hit at the end of the fight there as you hit the button. Like I said, dying doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 Yeti Ridge, I know. Yeah, 1916 is pretty alright. Uh, I don't know if 
there's a faster set of levels to do. Yeah, that's the, the best category, really. It's a... Like, a 20-minute category is not too bad for, for racing, especially... Uh, yeah. Doing that instead of... Hour and a half of video gaming. How's it going, Fems? Thank you for the good luck. Pretty good run so far. No real complaints. I think the only mistake I made is accidentally uh, messing up the cutscene so that my entire screen was black and I had to like blindly maneuver to one of these cannons to enter a level, but that was more of a... that was a me thing. It wasn't really the game's fault. Well, it was the game's fault, but... Both me and the game's fault. I'll say that. I will take ownership of my poor decisions. The best part of these levels is the music, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. How's your uh, chess journey been going? I want to uh, actually sit down and learn some more and do some puzzles and get good at stuff, but my brain is only full of male mole right now. Excuse me. I'm allergic to runs that are actually on okay pace. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate that. Ugh. Apparently it's possible to be allergic to water. I don't really know how that works out, but... Sounds awful. <laughs> Speaking of awful, to start at- what? I didn't even know that pebble was there! I didn't even know that existed. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? Yeti Ridge. Everyone's favorite area. Why did I go for that jump? There's no reason. No reason to do that at all. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, just kind of skimmed off the side of the block. Multi chose death today. Oh well. I was trying to ground pound onto a block and uh, kind of skimmed off of it. It's alright, I die on this level like every other time. Now, for normal speedrunners, you'd be like, oh yeah, like, you need to practice that then. Uh, I just want to die. All right, that level's no fun. Silver metal should reset. Every level, or not every level, <laughs> every level needs a time save. No, let's not say that, but every every world, you know, every every run, we need to make a silly mistake somewhere. I thought I was fine, but the angle of the camera, you know. Uh, all that fun stuff. I just kind of messed it up, unfortunately. It's on me. I'm sorry for letting everyone down. The more you know. Are you guys bored of the <laughs> multi sound effects yet? Is tired of hearing go chew. Uh oh, that's fine. The radishes give us strength. Not the best. 
bullet slalom, but yeah, you'd think I'd be better at this level. It's named after me, obviously, so. Oh well. We didn't die, so. That is, that is what we're going for. Less death, more speed. If we do really well in Spooky Swamp, like, we can crush our time. We just need to have a good end game. And I meant to practice the final area, but I didn't, so. We'll see how that goes this run. If it goes badly, then maybe we'll just sit there and practice it for a little bit. I don't have a mole hat yet? I do not. I do not have any hat that resembles a mole yet. I have a lot of a lot of other ones going, but uh, not that one yet. I've not even looked. I'm sure there is one, and I'm sure it looks ridiculous, but welcome to my life. All the hats I own look ridiculous, except for, like, maybe this one. Oh, I thought I could jump all the way up there. Am I gonna bonk? The animals just represent me. This is this is me in my natural habitat. Get up there! Multi, what are you doing? You're gonna get fired. People need their packages. Oh, we're not we're not losing time. Well, we might be losing time. I don't know how far ahead I was before, but My 752 was the one time I've not failed uh, uh, doing any of those levels. So, yeah, about 20 seconds ahead seems right to me. Don't worry why my, why my split say ancient carrot. They all make sense to me. <laughs> I guess that's the important part. I need someone big brain to make sure this route actually makes sense the way I think it does. I mean, there's there's only so much decision making with the route. It feels like there's a lot, but I mean, in the end, you're doing... The race levels, pretty much you do as many of those as possible. Um because the amount of time you save just from the lack of the canon animations and the lack of the like post wow 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 that was interesting thankfully there's a checkpoint right here but that was not a jump i've missed before <laughs> i know you can miss that jump I think it's faster just to ride that and then jump at the end, but... It's still okay. Probably like a 10 second death. I think our big time saves come after the uh, third boss fight here. So, we can technically do races now, since we've earned a couple. The reason we don't is because every single time you gain a new race and you go to talk to her, she'll say the, oh, you've completed an area dialogue again, so... We just do them all at once. You can avoid that dialogue. I'll say this is one of my least practiced levels just because I do not enjoy playing it at all. 
Unfortunately, there's no real way to route around it. Um, I mean, you can, but it'd be not the best route, because you'd be missing out on two of the races, probably. We're just gonna stumble our way to the finish line on this one. I think actually if you dashed across there to that platform, you'd be able to save a cycle here. I'll need to sit down and contend with that at some point. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use the 10 seconds, like I said. We might have also lost a little bit of time on this level as well. Actually, I think we're gonna lose most of our time. <laughs> That's okay. We got lots of time save. Just not yet. Didn't die on this fight on my PB. But I did have a PB where I just died here for like three minutes. That was pretty fun. I don't think that was a PB, never mind. Shouldn't have been if it was. That might have been the 113.12 that I got, or the 113.16 or whatever it was. I had a, when my PB was 113.03, I had another run that was pretty close to it. A new diabolical invention. At least they said please. Would have been rude otherwise. I feel like secretly, like we're the villains of this area, because we are kind of uh, killing people. <laughs> Not intentionally, but. Inadvertent, uh... You know, actually it might be better to die as you hit this third button during this fight. So you skip like this whole cutscene afterwards, but I don't think so. This cutscene's not too slow. Yeah, it's like... It'd be a baddie even, and you'd also have to like... Intentionally take hits before that. That's such a silly hit to take. Ooh. Speaking of. Alright, let's not get hit at the end. Please. Okay, good. I put myself behind the button so that there is no way the spike ball would like, come through and hit me. We're actually going to save a little bit of time. I think this is where our time saves start. Um, so I did well in this next split. Hard to tell when I forget to split half the time. <laughs> But I don't remember messing this level up, at least. Yeah, I'm feeling if I want to go for the uh, faster cycle at the beginning here. I should be going for it. It's just really hard to practice it. Oh, that was really clean, actually. IL world record pace, let's go!
I'll say that's probably the best I've done that. Even in practice. I mean, it's really hard to practice this one going for IL PVs because uh, the cycle at the beginning is different and it's really good the first time you enter and then when you restart it's not good at all. <laughs> so 27 is probably the best time I'll get for that for a while. First two dry canyon levels aren't too bad though I did mess up the first dry canyon level a whole bunch last time because I think I was trying to coyote jump it coyote time it whatever either way so I was trying to do that on the jump but that drops you down a little bit um, and the thing you need most of all for this jump is height you don't need distant like you can, you can get there at the peak of your jump pretty easily There's a few jumps in the game that are kind of like that. Um, there's one in Spooky Swamp as well where... Okay, much better. I was worried I was gonna like psych myself out for that since the last time I was there I made a mess of everything. That's nothing new though. Hey, we're just over halfway through the run. I'd say Pucket 3 is probably where I would say halfway through the run is, more or less. Because the... well... The last 15 power cells are quicker than the first 15. Oh yeah, definitely. Sorry, I was trying to think that out because... Um, assuming you don't count like the, the end of the game in with the uh, 15 power cells. But I guess I'm also counting the bosses as well. Because there's three bosses in the first 15 power cells and then there's one boss after that and in the final area. I appreciate the Speed lines on the side. Telling me that I'm zooming. It should probably end up being a gold split. Eventually I'll know like the timing between like getting shot from the cannon and when the power cell thing pops up, but eh, who cares? That sounds like actually learning and game knowledge, so. <sighs> 39 minutes flat. Cool. Alright. Tree skip number one. I think it'll probably make me take me like one or two tries to get this. If it takes more than that, it'll probably be a time loss, but Let's see. I was doing alright in practice with it at least. Whoops, well, that's not good. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I was about to go in the pit 
so I made an evasive maneuver <laughs> and let the camera kind of catch up with me. That's about 10 seconds faster. 10 15 seconds faster. Uh, than I did in my PB. Which is why I was okay panicking and just not falling off. I think because I needed to do a short jump instead of a long jump right when I landed from the cannon. Um, or after that jump. And I didn't. So I almost ruined everything. Good start. We didn't fall in immediately. This is another one that's a bit hard to practice how it'll be in full runs because the cycles are different. Uh, the first time you open it. And as you've seen with the canon animations, they take a, a hot second to, to finish up. And when you do the races, the cycles aren't the same either. There's a couple levels I should probably practice the races for because they're a little different, but... There's like a couple sketchy jumps for this level. The ending's also a little spooky too, but... It's a silly hit to take. Okay, we're gonna take the jump safer. Uh, not the, not the start I really wanted, but it's okay. Um, I don't know if it was, it was probably about as fast to just fall and die there. Unfortunate. Yeah, you know, tree skip is gonna stop us from losing too much time from that though. Bad we have two tree skips now, like how do we name them? Oh, I guess I'm just gonna avoid both the cannons and well and avoid the spikes, but I tried. Did my best. Oh my goodness, that was a really sketchy end. Not a fan of that. I jumped extremely early for that first jump onto the platform, and I was pretty sure I was going to fall in the water. Which would have put us decently far behind. Takes like another 10 seconds to walk on over there. I'm alright being 15 seconds ahead there. like cycle based thing like just to get into the fight you have to like I don't know if you can get there fast enough where you immediately shoot into it and like get the cycle but I guess we can see oh no cannon why'd you do that I think you probably are able to get Mm, I don't know. It starts shooting here. I think 
you have to wait all that time anyways. Oh, I didn't even realize that platform was going to be there yet. messy but I need to look into like the saves and see if I can just edit the save and put my position here so I can practice this much easier that'd be nice class three levels taking six and a half minutes doesn't sound right so I must have done something wrong definitely doesn't seem like it should Uh, lamp post. I've not gotten a good split for this yet, where I've gotten this skip first try and then I've gotten the other ones. Three minutes left. Yeah! I did a like, kind of spur of the moment stream. And I got a PB during that. Like an hour long stream. I just did one run and left. Oh, is it not there during that? I thought I tried it without restarting before and uh, the platform was there. Interesting. Reappear, please? Thank you. Uh, that's not good, because now I'm off the cycle that I'm used to. Okay, I jumped really early, but we made it, so... I was just accepting getting hit there, because I didn't want to jump and then get hit. Um, because then my jump would have gotten... Uh, wrecked. There we go. Okay, we stumbled our way to the finish line. Would have, would have liked to get that first try, but I should have just restarted at the beginning so I knew what cycle I was on. Need to investigate that a little bit more. We're still in good pace. Failing, taking two tries to get that um, is about as fast as doing the original strat first try. And I didn't get stuck on it like I did last uh, couple of attempts. If I... Yeah, the run's pretty okay. I had a bit of a rough uh, eerie cliffs. Uh, but it, it all worked out in the end. It's about even with probably how my PB did it, assuming I got it first try on that. And I know that I failed this next level, not this one, but like the one after it. I know I failed that one at least once because i i've never not failed that level in a run so i'm taking it a little bit safer this time like a couple seconds slower how's it going hope everybody's doing well this saturday hopefully a healthy amount of male mole happening in your lives it's so sad that you can't jump onto this cannon area early. I've tried it every run just to see. It's never happened, but 
This one radish here is like the closest you can get, and it's so close. It was just like a tiny bit higher. Just a tiny bit higher. <laughs> uh, so, so sad. I actually don't know if you can stand on there while it's moving anyways. Maybe it's just inaccessible anyways. Who knows? We got all of the radishes though. Go us. I think this final level is my favorite one for um, Dry Canyon. Which is unfortunate because I'm probably gonna not make it look as cool as it is, but we'll, we'll go occasionally quick. We'll try our best. I don't remember. I missed, I think I died once on one of the races at the end of this run, and then I died once on the King Rat Tower Climb. I think on the third, second or third one, I died. I think it was a fairly quick death though. Okay, we're gonna go over here instead. Yay! I mean, there's still stuff I can fail. Plenty I can mess up at this point. Okay, we got that. That's good though. Thank you. That was not where I meant to jump. I let go of my jump at the wrong time. And I went straight towards that cactus. I need to stop doing that at the end of the level. I need to just waddle my way to the end instead of trying to jump across because I've died like twice doing that and I should have probably died that time. So yeah, we're gonna be just under a minute ahead now. Uh, about 40, 40 ish, 44, yep. All we have left now is doing the six races we have. And then the final area of the game, which I forgot to practice. You know, it'll go however it goes. If we die, we die. <laughs> I almost uh, messed that up, though. They're very close to bonking on that fence, but we good. Oh, wow, I almost, almost went out the, under, <laughs> the other side of the circle with how uh, fast we were going. So I dashed right as I got into it. Give me my power cells. I have to remind myself not to mash after you start talking with her, because then you'll immediately go into the first level and you just lose time. Just mashing all the time. I can't help myself. My wrist doesn't appreciate it, but... Worthy sacrifice. Ah, I almost, almost snuck up there. 28's about what I usually get. one shouldn't be anything to worry about, but we are getting just the later parts of the run in general. Yeah, I could have avoided hitting that little inflatable thing, but it's okay. 
I'd rather not try to do that and then fall in the water. I'd rather take the couple seconds of bouncing around. I've definitely jumped off the edge on Yeti Ridge during the race for it. I don't know if it was this PB. It was it was a run. I remember it fondly. There goes yellow. Never to be seen again. But really, what does happen if you fail the Mechamole race? Is there like a sad sound cue that plays? Like, I don't know. I've not seen it. I usually either fall off the edge or get first place. There's there's no rule in between. <laughs> Scarlet needs to improve the, the robots. Wait, that's actually literally what happens after the the game's finished, never mind. Forty seven's pretty good. Can't complain. Two more. Uh, looking at our time right now, looks like we're doing all right. Hard to judge it. Doesn't seem like my PB has a big mistake in the race anywhere. Or any of the races. All right, one more. Which one's this? Oh, this is the um, vanishing bridges. I think the cycles are a little different, but they're not too bad. You just have to remember that the bar bridge is going to fade away as soon as you get to it. This bridge right here is going to fade. Oh, actually, it fades at a good time. Never mind. I thought it faded right as you jumped to it, and you have to be careful of that. But no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's not do that. Why have I been, like... Trying to die on this level. Seems like an odd choice, but. Okay, so. Yeah, we're gonna be about the same time we got from this. Actually, it'll be a tiny bit faster. I don't know where the four seconds came from, but. So I'll probably get like a 108 from this if I played out of my mind for the final area. Probably not gonna happen. But there's there's a little bit of wiggle room for this final area. What? Interesting. My favorite thing to mess up. I think if you don't sprint jump off of it, maybe you just don't hit there at the peak of your jump. That must be it. Those platforms are just spaced just enough away from each other. Alright. Let me actually focus now. I'm using my brain. Try not to hit any random pebbles. <laughs> I 
I've done that twice now, where I've like done a little skip jump there and almost went into the lava. Not a good idea. Don't do it. I don't know that I'm a good person to watch this section and be like, oh, this is how you do this. <laughs> I don't think, I think I'm a good example. I do a lot of very sketchy stuff. Nice, made it over that. I thought I was gonna, I probably was gonna jump through the gap there between the lava, or between the platform and the platform. Uh, but we'll never know. Uh, okay, I'll just take our time with that because I messed it up, unfortunately. I wanted to do basically what I just did there, but uh, I really shouldn't have done that because, oh wow, that's unfortunate. Shouldn't have done that because I was on a different cycle and I didn't know where those were going to be. Okay, hello? There we go. <laughs> little baby hitbox for that. Okay. 144 is actually about usually when I hit that checkpoint, so not too bad. Got the longest floor done with at least. I mean, I still have to do this, but I usually am not as stressed for this. That's okay. Usually you get hit by the shockwave. Any okay, that was not where I want to jump. Just yeah, gonna take this nice and slow. Okay, start. No death, at least, but some odd choices. We'll say that. Oops. Didn't mean it, the rock. Oh, good start. <laughs> uh, usually that's where I want to take my first hit, but I guess we're going to get 14 seconds in and already be down on all our health. Thought I was over the platform. Yeah, that works out for me, I guess. That's my one my one death that I'm allowed. Oh, the platforms are on a weird cycle now. Not comfortable with how things are going on the second floor at all. Not liking it one bit. Especially when I'm trying to jump in the lava there for some reason. Yeah, final part's tough. I shouldn't be messing it up as much, but I forgot to sit down and warm it up. So... Depends on how this... I should have... 
dashed again there. That's okay. Um, Should've... Uh, if, if we play about how my PB did for the rest of this, probably lose like 10-15 seconds. Still a uh, decent pace though. I don't want to stomp so I didn't uh, run into that. Just take the hit there so I pop myself up instead of landing and then charging my jump and regoing. It was a very split second decision, but it worked, I guess. <laughs> really wish I could tap into whatever I did that one day where I had like a nine and a half minute for this entire section. I don't know what I was doing then, but it was good. <laughs> All right, so. Try not to take a hit early on here, but if it happens, it happens. Mm, I thought I jumped too late there. Okay, that's fine. Let's just slow down for a second here, get our bearings a little bit. And the problem is those cannons force you to do an extra jump and it's a little annoying, but not too bad. Don't know that there's- you can technically skip a couple of these platforms, but it's pretty rough. It is not something you particularly want to go for. Oh, good, I actually landed that. I was going into panic mode of, I don't think I landed where I wanted to there. <sighs> that ramp. Uh, don't need that checkpoint. It heals you, but you also get healed going up here into this next checkpoint. Uh, I believe. I don't think I've actually missed that checkpoint before, so I guess I wouldn't know. If it doesn't, that'd be a bit awkward, but we can probably play around it. All right, I have two minutes to do this. It should take me like a minute. Ish. Minute and a half. Okay, it did heal me, good. I'm on a weird cycle now because I missed a jump there, but that's okay. We didn't get hit at all, actually. That's really good. It's gonna help. We're just gonna go for it. <laughs> just go for everything. Nice. Yep. Not gonna save time. We're gonna lose a tiny bit, but not too much. Like, maybe 10 seconds at most. No, I guess this cutscene lasts longer than I thought it did. Yeah, last level was good. The I had the one death, which was unfortunate. It'd be sub 110 though. I didn't. I mean, there's one hard, one more jump that I could mess up potentially. But I think even if I miss that, it still spawns me in the right spot. There we go. That's the only hard jump that was left. And that one's pretty trivial compared to the stuff we were trying to do before. <laughs> nice. 109.43. Sub 110. That's what we were going for, so. Good stuff.
Would have been nice to have a little bit of a cleaner ending, but the one death is, is fine. It's usually kind of how I do on average, so. Pretty good. Um, feeling pretty happy with the route so far. I need to add in a couple kind of small improvements, but, uh, you know, overall, pretty alright. <laughs>